Welcome everyone to this hands-on course on TensorFlow for mobile applications. Before starting the course, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Miguel, I study computer science engineering in Spain and Finland, and I did my master's degree at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. My master was about general AI, and I specialize in computer vision, more specifically in medical image analysis. At the moment, I'm working at Sojo University in Japan, and during my free time, I usually read papers and research about deep learning. I also have a blog and a GitHub account where I write and upload some projects and some theoretical stuff. This course is divided into six different sections. At first, we will introduce what is deep learning and some basic concepts in order to understand the following content. In the second section, we will develop our first TensorFlow model, and in here, we will be introduced to the TensorFlow syntax and basic understanding of key functions to create models. Then, in the following four sections, we will develop different models to solve realistic problems using TensorFlow. In the third section, we will develop a model to perform handwritten recognition and we will deploy it in an Android app. In the fourth section, we will perform pattern recognition to distinguish between different textures. In the fifth section, we will build a simple gesture recognition model. And finally, in the last section of this course, we will create a voice command recognition model using convolutional neural networks. In this course, we will learn basic concepts about deep learning from the very beginning, and they will be developed through the course. So one of the goals is to have a basic understanding of deep learning. We will introduce realistic problems of image and voice recognition, discuss ways to solve them, and give a possible solution. So you will learn how to solve those problems. We will also learn how to deploy those models developed in TensorFlow in iOS and Android. And in addition, we will learn how to use TensorBoard to visualize everything related to our model, such as its extractor, inputs, and performance. Remember that training a deep learning model may take several days or weeks, depending on the training data and the machine where we are training. Training also implies trying different parameters. So if training a model takes a day, if I want to try 60 different configurations, it could take nearly two months. That's why we have to keep it simple. In addition, coming up with a very good model architecture is not a trivial task. Because of these two reasons, the models we will create are very limited, although they will work under certain conditions, as you will see. Developing a robust model to achieve one of the mentioned tasks is very expensive in terms of researching time and computational operation. But the main goal of this course, remember, is to develop some functioning models and deploy them in a mobile device. And that's what we will do. While developing those models, we will learn about cross-validation, batch normalization, dropout, and other mechanisms to achieve good results. Since this course will use Python as the main programming language, it is very important that you can understand its syntax, so some experience in Python is required. We also need to have installed Python and TensorFlow. I used uh, TensorFlow 1.4.1 and Python 2.7, but probably other versions would be fine as well. Finally, since this is oriented to deploy models in a mobile device, it is kind of important you know how to program for Android or iOS. Although I mainly use Java for Android because I'm more confident with it, the code is explained in a simple way and commented so that you can rewrite it in other languages easily. Therefore, you need an Android Studio or Xcode. 